Bailey was like with earth and pot, in the hands of a great quarter, Quay returns to play. Arise in the land of the living, a Kubi, Banner Bantu production. Yakubi Banner Bantu, Mutoto Wa Kibantu, Banner Vermuntu. Banner Vermuntu. Kembo la Tatanzambi, Yamazulu, Mpungu Tulendo, so nini na nini somandla. Depending on where you are, I greet you. No see me, the toa bumbote, banabayi solele, molweni abantuana abangul, moriega shiana shiangai naken amuyuri, saubona abantuana babao weto oswe mazulu. Mpo salama watoto wa mungu. Yes, it's that time. We sit and rightly divide the word of truth. Ingeta. Manabeto, today I want us to look at the spiritual enslavement of the kings and queens. When we talk of spiritual enslavement, what are we talking about? The enemy has become the date in our subconscious mind to a point that we cannot see the mighty one of our ancestors, the Somandla, who was known by many names by our ancestors, who my people call Ngai Morungu Mwenenyaga, my kings and queens in the south know as Sonini, Nanini, Somandla. Those in central of Katopia, the land of Bakongo, know his as Tata Nanzambe. Yes, the father and the father of those that sleep. Many years ago, when they took and separated us, on their good ships, the good ship Jesus, the grace of God, and the Holy and Holy Mary. They did this because this has been a plan millennia in the happening. Where a people came to our lands, studied our spirituality. And because they could not understand our spirituality, like everything else, they took that by force and brought us foreign doctrine, separating us from Ka, Kango, Congo, Akongo, the mighty one of the Bantu. So let's get right into it, Vanabeto. If you look at ancient writings in Kingipiti, they talk of the spirit of Ka. If you prefer the spirit of Isaiah, if you prefer the spirit of Njathi, if you prefer, depending on where your cognitive dissonance, the spirit of Christ, but I will tell you verily, that what we know as Ka morphed as our people expanded into Ka'ao. In among the Kikuyu, you hear of the 
and waro i keep retaliating all sons of moon to have what we call oro in them but that oro is activated by the ka spirit the spirit of awakening and that is why we continue to tip the consciousness scale this is bigger than yakubi banabantu this is bigger than you watching this we are talking about 1 billion 8 million souls in the land of tanateru the land of the gods we see it morphing to kango 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 listen to the pronunciation kango kongo kango kongo now if you've been following us you've realized that sometimes the bantu dialect interchanges vowels but the sound remains the same and a perfect example of ka being used with the deity even in modern times we look at our kings and queens in uganda the baganda they speak of katonda katonda njagara katonda used to signify the supreme creator deity in the traditional religion of the baganda people most of whom are in present day uganda katonda is considered the father and the leader of the baganda you see katonda where do we hear of the word tonda matondo ka tonda the spirit thank you tonda may also mean to speak to articulate so when we say ka tonda we mean to the spirit of ka which later became karest under the greeks and christ under the romans but for the greeks and the romans they were just replicating it and why we call them heathens is because they were the heath dwellers the heath dwellers those that chop down trees the germanic people the uncivilized one that cut down the trees they know that trees create oxygen but you see western civilization all it wants to do is to create an imbalance why because we have allowed the enemy to become the deity in our subconscious mind and whatever facet of religion they serve you religio to bind again you will find yourself this and i'll tell you this is why they demonize us when you talk of abaluba because you see for the baganda they ascribed esteem exaltation to katonda but they knew katonda what through the balubale baluba is this information is out there but now i'm just helping you make the connection the baluba or in plurality there will be the balubale i wish anybody from the baganda watching share this with us in the comment because i'm not so egocentric to think that i know everything but i do know something that you don't right and when you see the irish we talk of black kings going to ireland they when they had of this they would refer to as the baluba as an unruly or wild person but then again 
with deep, deep, deep power. Katonda, what were the, his attributes amongst the Baganda, the Banyoro, the Banyankole? They all have Ba. Ba, Bana, Baantu, Mtu, the cosmic force of creation manifested in Kintu, Muntu, Untu, Umuntu, Umuntu, Gaban. We are, I am because you are, because we are. I am so nini na nini. So mangla is because we are our ancestry, because you are the word spirit. I know that confuses you a little, but I'll expound as we go on. They would call him Lisodene. Let me try and pull that up for you so that you get the pronunciation. Sometimes these words get lost in translation. This is understanding I have from the ancestors and I have to make it relatable to you by Lisodene, the big eye in the sky. Kagingo, master of life. Kagingo, you hear of the island, me gingo. Those belonging to gingo. Ka is, gingo is life. Me gingo is the place of life. Ka gingo is the mighty one of, or the master of life. I do not pretend that I can speak all Bantu dialects, but by the spirit, for his Kembo by his Ngolo, I will give it my best. Suswanku, the eternal. Where do we see the double S? Sitswana. Swana. T interchangeable with the S. That's why the T will be pronounced as an S sound. Setswana, Setswana, Setswanku, the eternal. Lugaba, Lugaba, the giver, Mogai, amongst my people. You see, every attribute given to the traditional mighty one of our ancestors replicates in all the Bantu communities, regardless of the title given, because titles are just attributes. And I'll show you as we proceed. For example, did you know, Banabeto, that the term Pharaoh is not actually king? The term Pharaoh actually means the great house. When we look into King Gipiti, you hear of Tanahisi. And Tameri. Ta meaning land. Mary, upper. King Gipiti. And you know, when we talk of upper, we are talking of going south, according to the map, you know, Talatel, Sub-Saharan Africa. And when we talk of lower King Gipiti, Tanahisi, all the way down, The term for king is Nesu. What was the role of the Nesu, the king? The role of the king was the high priest to keep the ma'at, the laws. Say what you may, but the ma'at predates those laws you have been given in that esoteric book. Because 
the Kabiru, the Habiru, the Abantwana Abangone predate the Kemetic existence. They tell you this, you go read Kemetic uh, history. They'll tell you, they'll talk of the Absu. They'll talk of this man with his tongue out. The Mayans also depict a man with the tongue out, the first man who was black. National Geographic tries to tell you he was Kakosoy, but no, because Yaya Nkosi Zonat has broken this down that the X and Y chromosome, I'm not going to get into the science of that. I urge you to watch Nkosi Zonat. He has done an amazing job breaking this down, guided by the spirit of Satan and Zambi. And that is why I tell you, Banabeto, I cannot interfere with anybody's mission because they are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing in this time. So, as I was saying, the name of Nes the king was Nesu, which came to be Negus in the time of the Greco Romans. I wasn't there, your ancestors, my ancestors give me hints on this, so I might not have the exact timeline. That is why I ask you to research further and share this information. But I'm just, my, my role is to have you do the connection. If you choose to go deeper, guided by the spirit, Ingeta, by Baba Yanga, by. We've talked of the Hepset, which was actually, the Pharaoh was supposed to run a square mile. The square mile represented the Ma'at. Running that square mile was symbolic. Of keeping the laws and that he could, he was still the Negu, the Nesu, Nisu. The work of the Nisu was to maintain the Mahat and to make sure his death, and I don't know if I'm getting this right, that his death evil did not. And this predates even before Akuba's staircase to heaven. Because you have to understand, these heathens, they had nothing. So they had to take what we had and add what they have. When you read of Egypt, the Kingipiti, the true history of Kingipiti, not the watered down, they chiseled out. Yes, they've chiseled out significant. But you know the mistake they made in the chiseling out, as much as they wanted to add Cleopatra, they did not understand the writing of the king. Go ask any Egyptian expert. They'll tell you nowhere these imposters had the royal seal of the Nisu. In Islam, you hear of the dua. In English, you hear of the duality. In Islam, they'll talk of the dua being uh, an invocation or a supplication. What is the duality of Muntu? That he can invoke his power of creation. Yes, life, uh, power of life and death is in the tongue. And he can supplicate to Ka, through the spirit of Ka, he can thunder with so nini na nini somandla ngai morungu mwene nyaga and have communion with the ancestors. Now, if we attach ourselves to the white man's ancestors through his book, we can never operate in the power of our ancestors. No amount of prayer, no amount of fasting, as long as you're calling on the wrong ancestors will show you any spiritual growth. The duality of Muntu. What you choose to do with this information is entirely up to you, Ganadeto. 
we but have one purpose and that is to tip the skills of consciousness. Once those skills are tipped and the one billion, eight million souls speak of the one, the one who was, is, and is to come, the great force of creation, the master of all things. The Lord of Yamazulu. The Namu Ginga, the one who shapes with his mouth. The eternal one. The gigantic one. Meaning you cannot encompass him in one thought. You cannot encompass him in one doctrine. And his wisdom, Sophia, manifests as the feminine spirit. Choose what you want to call it, Black Madonna, or what they replicated and tried to call Mary. This does not signify a virgin birth means that at the time of union, and I'll give an example of Horu and Heru, Forget about what the white man has tried to tell you about Horace and his. This are, you see, when you talk of Heru, they'll take it and turn it to Horace, who now you understand as the man Christ. Yet this is about a spirit. It has nothing to do with one man. The spirit comes every 999 to completion cycle. Every 1,000 years, there has been a Messiah. Messianic spirit. Bye. And that is why you find that they can replicate, they can plagiarize, but they can never get the shinu, the royalty, or what they wanted to call the shakaina in their fake language. Righteousness, chastity comes from the mighty one. Right. They even replicate that when they talk of the high priest. Every Messiah that is initiated into the ancient way we, they talk of Imohotep. That's why you, you, you will not find Imohotep grave anywhere. Why? Ask yourselves, my kings and queens, why? When we talk of uh, Imohotep, who taught Imohotep? Tuhuti. When you come to my people in the East, the Agekoyo, which many of you belong to, because Agekoyo is not a clan. Remember, we have to change. It just means Moge Koryoyo. The one endowed with wisdom than this. One endowed with the Shinu. The spirit of Ka, the spirit of Njadi, the spirit of Isaiah, the spirit of Ka'aro, the spirit of Congo. Bye. Tuhuti, who was Imohot's teacher, when you, you go to the clan names of the Agikoyo, you will hear of Manduti. Manduti Tuhuti and then the ascension of the mystery religion. Yes. We continue breaking the esoteric code. I tell you, Banabeto, today it's been cooked, seasoned, and served to you in honest truth. Thy brother, young and die. The astrology deceptions versus Aradi, the seers, 
the Imohoteps, those, those that have been initiated through the duality of Munti, replicated in everything, wet and dry spirit, living and living dead, masculine and feminine spirit, invocation and supplication, or what the Chinese would have you call yin and yang, what they would have you call the balance. You see, you can never digress from the natural order of systems. You can just make it a fanfare. Because just like your Vegas, my people, in Neo Babylon, it's all about the flashy lights, pulling your attention in many directions, but it all terminates at their objective. It's a distraction to what they want you to lose by giving you the illusion of inclusion. Why? Your il the illusion of inclusion comes because your primordial consciousness or what the Shinu, which makes you a king by ancestry, heritage, genealogy, whatever you, call, you choose to call it, is being stolen with the flashy lights. For example, Banabeto, when we look at the Christmas tree, this is a Germanic practice where you bow down to Thor, the tree. Thor is a representation of the tree. But you see, the tree comes from the great mother. The union of the breath, or what you, most of you know is Yah. When he spoke, that fusion with the great mother brought forth life. And that is why when you give the great mother what is dead and decaying, she brings forth life. As is the way of our people. When we speak of the Congo Kiwadu, the Congo Kiwadu, I don't know if you can see it, you know? It is the circle of life, the father, those that rest, and those that are living, separated by Kalunga. And you see the thing with the Congo Kiwadu, no matter what direction you look at it, it never changes, meaning the continuity of life, the eternity of life. What was a wet spirit becomes a dry spirit and a dry spirit becomes a wet spirit, ascension and dissension. And that is where you get your earth. They just wanted to replicate that, but they wanted to give that information. But you see, there's the pillar that holds it up. The cosmic force of creation. Tatana Nzambe, Yamazulu, Mpungu, Tulendo. As Joseph is saved from the well and sold into King Gipiti, he adopts the name Osar, Osasef, replacing your element with a reference to Osiris to indicate that he's now in the underworld, but not hell. To descend into the underworld means to go into sub-Saharan Africa, my people. I mean, to come out of sub-Saharan Africa and going into the north, which is down, lower King Gipiti. You can check the highest mountain in South Africa and the highest mountain in Egypt. I did a teaching on this. So Joseph changes his name to Osasef 
replacing the yo element with a in reference to Osiris to indicate that he's now in the underworld, which is north of Tanateru, which is lower King Gipiti. Has nothing to do with the deity. He's, the sun rises in the east, sets in the west. Why were the people of King Gipiti using the sun to represent the mighty one? They were not worshiping the sun. The sun is, just means that when it's dark, what is black, the melanin, will be renewed upon the cycle. Because now the sun always renewed what was black. After darkness comes light. And that is how we are sustained. Right. This change of name to account for changing circumstances encourages Imohotep to change his own name to Akanaten. I'm sorry, uh, Amenhotep to Akanaten, changing his name from associating uh, praise to Amun, Ra, to Aten, the one represented by the sun disk. Why this change when Yosefu goes into the lower Egypt, the lower Egypt where you find Memphis, which was under the influence of Babylon. And that is where you get the North and the South kingdom. We never separated that way. Congo is not, we were one. But those that separated, remember we have the Jasper and the Sardine Stone, those that separated, Tanahisi, and Tameri, Tameri, which was upper, Egypt and Tahisi, which was lower Egypt. And that is why you find upper King Gipiti wore a white crown and lower King Gipiti, the red crown. And that is why in the order of my people, as you can see, Mark, there's no red. The colors are white, black, and green. Or brown, if you prefer. Yakubi, or Jacob's famous blessings of his sons and the tribes, his death and his funeral, has something to tell us. The characters of the individual brothers are determined by epithets taken from the text of the blessing of Yakubi throughout the details. We see that Reuben is turbulent as the waters and associated with Aquarius. Mm -hmm. This is where they also stole the horoscopes. Simeon and Lawi are known as the twins and associated with Gemini. You can go verify this information. Even though they are near apart and are portrayed as violent bullies. Judah is a lion, Leo, and inherits Abana's blessings since Yakubi derobes his elder brothers of their birthright. Zebulu shows predilection for Phoenicians and seafaring. Yes, he was the first to sail the ships. And Yakubi calls Boni Issachar a donkey to invoke Aselias and of cancer. Dan is sharp witted and suited as a judge. Asha is fond of dainties. Joseph is blessed by Yakubi in his dual aspect male. Where do we see this? Dumuzi the God and the seed and harvest and the reference to Taurus, the bull. And female, since Yakubi, his beloved Raquel lives on in Joseph, 
and in his affinity with the nourishing earth with reference to Virgo. As Yakubi comes, as Yakubi comes to Benjamin, his strength is almost gone. Yes, he got him in his old age. And with his last breath, he rather incoherently compares his youngest son with a wolf, partly because of lupus. Yes, a disease. But this is the thing they could never do, Banabeto. As much as they move the names around, they could never replace the attributes. And this is where I want you to pay attention. Tanaten also, Tanaten, Tanajen, Tanafen, Tanen, Tanen. Now we're going through the morphology of the name. Tanenu and Tanu was the de deity of primordial mounds. This is according to the information, but I'll break it down. In ancient Egyptian religion, his name means risen land. The mountain. He who dwells on the mountain. Exalted earth, he is above the earth. Yamazulu, as well as referring to the silt of the Nile, the nourishment, the omba that gave, um, omba is the, 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 the life force, the creation. That's where you get mombi from. Komba also means the, 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 the art of making the pot. Koba. So one who makes the pot is Mombi. Jeremiah, the potter. Clay returns to clay one of the two. What was, is, and is to come. That. Tanaten was identified with creation. Ta'atene, the ancient of days. Oriawakumatene. Now I'm speaking Kikuyu. See the similarity, then decide for yourself. Both feminine and masculine. The spirits. The masculine spirit, everything that is replicated, he creates you in his own image. And you think, you think that if he created you in his own image, bringing forth a woman, because a king has to pass through a woman to rule, the heathens make you look down upon your women, yet from the womb. As the life, the living, the living death, the mighty one, and the continuity of life. You decide. Tanaten represents the earth. The creation. Ardi. Mumba wambingu na ardi. And was born in the moment it rose from the watery chaos. In the beginning, he separated the what? Hmm? You decide. Analogous to the primeval mound of the Benben -Ben and the Mastaba and the later pyramids. Pyramids only wanted to show there is one that is exalted above the earth. That is why they wanted to build everything to signify that there is one that is exalted above the earth. There is one that is exalted above the creation. They personified him as the sun, which we know he travels in a chariot of fire. Because the, 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 the ancient Greeks, Greco-Romans could not understand 
the connection we had with this. So they would say we worship the sun. Yet for us, we understood that he traveled in a chariot of fire. Why? Because that chariot of fire, photosynthesis, where you get your food, he nourishes life. And this is replicated every day. That is why the resurrection, the rebirth, the new light is manifested as the sun who later was presented to you as an image because an image shapes your reality. That candy cane you're buying for your son or your daughter on, on, on Christmas just means that you're giving acknowledgement to Cronus or Saint Nick. And if you go to the Webster's Dictionary, they'll tell you verily, if they've not changed it, that Saint Nick is the devil. And Saint Nicholas, who was a Catholic bishop, usually venerated on the 6th of December, the winter solstice, was known for eating his babies because he feared that his children would take over the throne. Why? The why does red become blood is an blood is uh what's that english word it is uh, sacrilege it is uh, impure for us to associate with blood red signifying blood that is why they have red all over christmas remember i cannot make this stuff up in the order of Anjiro, Kendamoyoru, in the order of Kendamoyoru, in the clan of the Anjiro, which I belong to, we do not have red. And that is why even the Kenyan flag that we have today, they had to add bread, uh, red and tell you that is the blood that was shed. But for us, the Kamenera, blood is sacrilege. If you look at the esoteric book, That understanding is, and when they talk of sacrifices, we don't even spill the blood of animals. Mm -hmm. We don't spill the blood of animals. Neither do we eat blood. Nor do we symbolically drink blood. The candy cane is a representation of the blood flowing. Remember what I told you about the crown of upper Egypt is white. So when there's blood flowing, you see like it would be white and then red for them. But for me, I choose white and black and green because there's no blood being spilled by the practice of Godadaya Gai. Both feminine and masculine, he was androgynous, protector of nature from the Memphis area, then known as Menefa, an ancient capital of Inebu Hedge, Nome in the Lower Egypt. You see, there's always allusion to Lower Egypt. Why? Because that is where for 300 years of the Ptolem uh, Ptolemy, and his people were there for 300 years, confusing, changing, learning, and distorting what was our spirituality. Saint Nicholas, Cronus becomes Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas becomes, when he goes to Greece, he becomes Satanalia. Satanalia also killed his babies, who later becomes. Santa Claus, the mighty one of the heathen dwellers, the, the heath dwellers, the heathens who do what? Cut down the trees that provide oxygen and bow down to these trees, bow down to the creation, totally giving no respect to the creator. Uh, the third, uh, the great hymn of Noom is identified as the creator who created all on the potter's wheel. 
You see, that's where you get the story of the potter, Mombi, granted him titles to both creator and mother who gave birth to all the feminine and masculine spirit. He spoke, Mother Earth brought forth. The man plants the seed, the masculine spirit plants the seed. What is the seed? The seed is a word. Now this is spirituality, pay attention. Do not use cognitive dissonance. The spirit plants the word. The mother receives this word in her womb and bats it. That is why if any of you misogynistic colonized minds do not understand your existence on this earth came through the womb and respect those women, then you're not practicing spirituality, but you're in actuality giving precedence over the mighty one of your ancestors. His precedence over all to Kronas, who you call the devil, the, the, the father of the Mindele or the progenitor of the white race, Cain and all that, whatever you decide. You are Abel, he is Cain. And you still want to think his doctrine will free you. You're in prison, you have the key, but you're handing the key to your jailer that he may open the prison for you. The irony that is meant. Spiritual enslavement is what we continue to look at vis-a-vis -vis Nubia Tanahisi. We have failed to invoke the name of our ancestors Banabeto for this, I urge you, by the Ngolo, for the Kembo of Tatana and Zambe. Wherever direction you're coming into this tipping point to the consciousness, I say, Ngweta, Rai, Rayo. Remember that the sun rises after setting. The rebirth is the resurrection reincarnated in the sun. The sun, Bantus do not die. So how could our Messiah die? No, he descended into lower Egypt. The car, the spirit of car, descended into lower Egypt. Imohoto, the great priest. And when all of King Gipiti was unified by Akanaten, who we have been looking for, after he had been, he had come to know of the one who was, is, and is to come. Where is he first attested to in the inscriptions that mostly appear? in the Middle Kingdom, this predates your Bible. Before papyrus, before parchment, there was stone. So keep talking of scrolls. <coughs> Even he himself wrote on stone tablets. He did not call up Moses. Didn't he have the power to create parchments? Why didn't he tell Maza to skin a goat? You tell me in the comment section. I'm very curious to know that my kings and queens. And I ask because I do not know. Why did he not ask that? They, they had animals at the camp. Why were they? Why? why? The sapphire tablets. The fortitude granted him titles of both creator and mother who gave birth to all gods. Don't you know you are like gods? Tanateru, the land of the gods, and father of all gods. He also personified King Gipiti due to his associations with rebirth and Nile. You see, the regeneration is transient. and not finite.
to legitimize their rule and gain recognitions over native mm -hmm. Egyptians. Remember, I had mentioned about Cleopatra not having the Nisu added even on, on whatever they tried to plagiarize. That is colonialism. When somebody comes to your house and tries to put new paintings, they will look off. We never had the Nisu. The Ptolemies adopted the title of Pharaoh, the great house, but they could never be given the title of Nisu because the, those of King Gibiti always considered the Hypsos or the Caucasoids as outsiders. And themselves portrayed on public monuments in King Gibiti style and dress, otherwise, the monarchy rigorously maintained its Hellenistic character and traditions. The kingdom had a complex bureaucracy that exploited the country's vast economic resources to benefit of Greek ruling class. I wonder where that sounds familiar, exploiting the people of King Gipiti, exploiting the people of Kyotopia to build quote unquote civilization, which dominated military. Wow, what's new under the sun? Political, wow, what's new under the sun? And economic affairs, wow, oh, the almighty dollar, what's new under the sun, quote and quote, because there's only one summer in here. And which really integrated into Egyptian society and culture. Listen to that, which really integrated into Egyptian society and culture. So we were able to keep our ways because for us, it's not something you learn. It is something that is in your genes. And that is why coming into this awakening, you're, you're able to relate to this. Native Egyptians maintained power over local and religious institutions, scribes, Pharisees, they were in the temples in that time. Such as marrying their siblings, We did not marry our siblings. It was even forbidden to marry from the same clan. What we did is we kept the royal lineage. But for them, because they had no royal lineage, they, 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 they could only have incestuous relationships. That is why even their book has a lot of incest. Incest among our people is an abomination. Even when Gekoyo had his nine daughters, he had to go ask for men to marry his nine daughters. He did not sleep with his daughters. Hmm. Yes, Sodom and Gomorrah, not. We are getting to that. New temples were built, older ones restored, and royal patronage lavished on the priesthood. Why? Because the priesthood was the key. Of Sodom and Gomorrah, Kalahari, the, the, in the Kalahari Desert, the tribesmen picked up meteorites that lay on the ground surface and made arrowheads and Asagai heads, a javelin type weapon made of long, thin pointed iron rods with sharp edges. Meteoric iron is used for alignment and balancing. It symbolizes the aptitude and strength required for endurance. Nickel is thought to purify the blood and increase the body's iron content. So what was a curse for the sinners who were taking over our land was a blessing for us. Didn't Abana see the destruction of Sodom? A certain region with heathen practices everywhere they go. Look at their results. Oh, everywhere they go, they bring their practice, men marrying men, bestial, everywhere they go. They use their tell a lie to your vision. They tell a lie to your vision. Uh, 
how does now why did the Nama Herero? Why their persecution? This is why I wanted you to note of Sodom and Gomorrah, and why the Germanic people, the heathens, were so interested in the Nama Herero. <coughs> Nama, in all the sources called Namakwa, are African ethnic groups of South Africa, Namibia, and Botswana. They traditionally speak the Nama language of Kwekadi language family. Although many Nama also speak Afrikaans people, the Nama Koe people are the largest group of the Koe Koe people, most of whom have largely disappeared as a group, as, except for the Namas. Many of the Nama clans live in central Namibia and other smaller groups in Namakwa land, which today straddles the Namibia border in South Africa. Black Yomento of those that are to be looked upon as a Jasper and a Sardine Stone. A, they, there's a king they speak of in the Bible. I'll tell you how much Egyptian history is relevant to us because only through Egyptian history was I able to connect through the phonology with the Agekoyo, who the missionaries say appeared to have similar practices to the Habiru, but who were the origin, uh, the, 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 there's a plagiarized Habiru, the Kushites, who turned into the Hebrew religion. The Jasper and the Sardine who turned into the, the Hebrew, not the Kabiru, not the Habiru, not those of the star Nebiru, the mother star. Oh, I'm getting excited. Die, 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 young guys, die. There's an African queen called Taharka, who they tried to call Ramses, who had nothing, Ramses had nothing to do with construction or the rebuilding. Taharka was saving the Kabiru from the Assyrians. Why? Because Tanahisi and Tanameri were meant to be one, upper and lower Egypt. And then there was Tanateru, the land of the gods, where the Bantu were in sl slavery in lower Egypt. Hence comes in the spirit of Ka, and that is why you even hear Kaitopia. Kaitopia, Ka. Remember where we started? Congo, Congo, Congo. Kaitopia, the one who is above. Ethiopia. What does Ethiopia mean? The land of the blacks. Bye. King Taharka. We should pay attention to him. He was saving those of the woolly hair. And then turned the, 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 the Kushites, who had been black mentor, or you prefer the Samaritans. The temple of Isis, that's where the battle with the Romans happened, and get this by Nabeto. There were 6,662 6, soldiers. 666. Inverse 999. The inverse of 666999 to completion becomes 1,000 years when the spirit of Ka, the spirit of Isaiah, the spirit of Sonini Nanini Somandla, the spirit of Ngai Morungu Mwenenyaga restores the primordial consciousness to their people. This happens through the calling of the ancestors. That is why by looking into the ancestral names, by uttering the ancestral names, we are able to see this light shine among 
<coughs> our people. Now, Banabeto, there's so much I wish to cover in part two of this series, but I like to disseminate information in chunks that can be digested. I'm always welcome to answer any questions that you might have. Our questions are welcome. I'm also open to those that wish to understand the ancient ways, but I must first see my father in you before I can reveal the divine mysteries. So do not send me emails out of curiosity. You're not dealing with an arrogant, ignorant buffoon. You are dealing with a son of Muntu, Muntu Vanankosi, Nkosi, Yamankosi, Yamazulu, so nini na nini somandla, Ngai, Morungu, Mwene Nyaga, Washira, son of Manyeki, Manyeki, son of Gakuru, from, after that, I do not mention them because they sleep ancestor to ancestor, all the way to Mokoroine, Wanyagadanga, where I find Awagi Koyo, Maito Mombi, who have loved me immensely, and named me after the firstborn, Akuba or Anjiro, their first daughter. And that is why every day I say, Thyo. Until next time, I keep asking you, Unguban, who are you? Know thyself. Thy, Dada Yangai, thy, thy, Dada Yangai, thy. Bye, Baba Yangai, bye. We Murungu Mwenenya, Tika Tua Wala, Tokambere Akutoi Nihiki. Mahingure Maizo, Tika Juro Horo, Mahote Kuona. Mati, na inetuka kushoke liangado, nivotu ehere liya, kivongona kia geni, Mahingure Maizo. Na kirenya kage veri, kirogo ataiba, kirogo. Ingeta.